Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer, and this is the On the Snow, Snow Before You Go forecast. Really the bottom line for best snow over the next five to seven days will be in the northeast and then in the inner mountain west. So let me explain. A few things on my list. There is going to be a southern track low, which will spread snow to northern New Mexico, southern Colorado. So that's parts of the areas that will have some of the best snow. But behind that, that really unlocks a northerly flow and a fat, fast jet stream right out of the north. And that's going to bring a couple different cold fronts running racing down through Banff, Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado. Um, but there are no big storm cycles on the immediate horizon. You know, the one we just went through was fantastic. But with the jet pattern, as I'm going to show you, it's just not going to be possible. Um, so let me just show you what my uh, spider chart is. Odds of best snow next five days. So the areas that are highest or have the most purple aerial coverage here on the web will have the best odds of snow. So that's Jackson Hole, Ski Santa Fe, Taos, even Kellington on the list after what's been kind of a rough start in Kellington. There are some better days ahead. Uh, most of Colorado will be higher on the web. Um, also, um, if you're looking down to um, northern New Mexico, you'll be higher on the web. Also, Banff area, higher on the web. Big Sky, uh, parts of western and southwest Montana, higher on the list. But not higher on the list, Utah, California, the Pacific Northwest, um, those areas, you're out of the flow, largely out of the flow this time around. So let me just kind of show you what the current situation is. So this is infrared satellite. And let me just mark this so you can kind of see where the key features are here. Let me mark the uh, the areas of low pressure. There's a big one right here spiraling up into Alaska. Um, there is our, our cutoff low dropping south. That becomes the southern track low. Um, and then let me mark the cold fronts, at least the initial... Uh, cold front so you can kind of see it taking shape right in here so once the low goes by the cold front then sweeps in and that becomes like the first of a few that will come racing down and that's what's going to spread some light snows from Banff down to Montana Wyoming and into Colorado this low will not be a player it's going to go up and there's a big area of high pressure right here that will be a dominant player keeping most of the Pacific Northwest dry and sending those cold fronts down. So that's really what the, the essence of this uh, forecast pattern is going to be. So let me just kind of show you what the jet pattern is as I see it. So this is Monday the 14th. That's what I talked about. The big high moving north, our, our low, our southern track low, will then catch the southern branch and race through New Mexico, southern Colorado. But with that north to south jet, that's going to send a couple of different cold fronts down through Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado. And that's the same pattern that's in effect through the 20th. Essentially the same. I mean, it kind of translates a little further from west to east with the high, but the high pressure is still keeping the Pacific Northwest and the uh, and most of California and Utah dry. You know, those cold fronts are going to swing through Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. So let me just show you what I'm thinking as far as uh, snow totals go. And I'm going to break this down into two pieces, and then I'll show you a total totals. But this is the 13th through the 16th. It's all light accumulations. There's only a few areas that really get in on it. Banff, Montana, Colorado, northern New Mexico. That's phase one. That's through the 16th. Um, so phase two is the 17th through the 20th, and most of the snows from the Tetons down into the central northern mountains of Colorado. I mean, like I said, there's no big storm cycles here. It's all just a pretty fast flow. Um, and then looking at sort of the total totals here, um, this is going to be uh, all in all the 13th through the 20th. Um, again, you're looking at uh, uh, mainly, uh, again, then the north to south type of flow pattern is really where we're going to see a lot of the biggest totals, you know, in that forecast, um, where the, the brightest colors are, the, the dark blues and the magentas. That's where most of the snow is going to occur. Let me just show you what the northeast looks like. Totals, totals, 13th through the 20th. There's a couple different storm systems, one on the 13th and then one towards the end of the period, which could snow 5 to 10 inches. Um, heaviest is the deep blues and the purple shades. So, you know, when I talked about the best areas of my Tomer's take, it's the northeast and it's the inner mountain west. So there you go, guys. Again, this is the On the Snow Snow Before You Go forecast. Thanks for tuning in.